Question number 5. The part A says find using algebra all the solutions of 20x cube minus 50x square minus 30x equals 0. And this part A you are given this expression, uh, this equation and we you have 3 marks for this uh, solving this equation. This is a cubic equation. But the good thing, the cubic equation has no constant term. If no constant term is easy, you take x out. So you'll be left with a quadratic function, solve it. But before move on to solving this, you see you can take, you can divide every term by 10, which will be much easier. So if you divide everything by 10, 2x cubed minus 5x square minus 3x equals 0. Now you take x as a common factor out. So we'll be left with 2x squared minus 5x minus 3 is 0. So equate them separately to 0. x is 0, that's our one solution. And 2x squared minus 5x minus 3 equals 0. So the question says using algebra solve solve find all the solutions. So there are number of there are number of ways you can solve this quadratic function, but we need to take any uh, the, you need to take any method like product sum method or you can use formula formula will be much easier x equals minus b plus or minus square root of minus b already b is minus 5 so minus will b will be positive 5 b square minus 4 a c c is minus 3 divided by 2 a so 5 plus r minus square root of, this is 25 plus 8 threes are 24 divided by 4. 5 plus r minus square root of 49 is 7 by 4. So you got two solutions. One is 5 minus 5 plus 7 which is 12 upon 4. 12 upon 4. And 5 minus 7 is minus 2 upon 4. So your three solutions are x is equal to 0, one solution, and x is equal to 12 upon 4 is 3, and minus half, there are three solutions. So if you write these, you got three marks. So the first step, always look for a common factor. If you, the moment you see bigger numbers, try to reduce it, try to look for a common factor. Here 10 is a common factor, divide by 10, which will make your life much, much easier. So you got three solutions in part A. Let's move on to part B. Part B says find all real solutions of this equation and it has four marks. That's our part B. Some weird looking equation, right? But again, I always say this. If you want to treat this as a separate equation, you cannot solve this. It's, it's very hard. So always this has nothing to, uh, this has something to do with part A. Our part A, the given equation is 20 and you compare part A is 20x cubed minus 50x squared minus 3x, 30x is 0. That's the equation given in part A. When you compare these two, when you compare these two, your x is in the place of x, you have y plus 3 to the power half x is y plus 3 to the power half. So when you substitute x is y plus 3 to the power half, it will become, sorry, this is 30x. So this is 30x. So when you square, uh, by one by two, when you square it, when you square it, take this as x. So when you square it, x square will become y plus 3. When you raise to the power 3, x cube is this whole thing power 3, which is y plus 3 power 3 by 2, which is this. So basically, these two are same. Only you have y plus 3 to the power half in the place of x. So you replace this by x, you will get this equation. We have already solved this equation and you got three solutions. We are going to use these three solutions, x is equal to... 0, 3 and minus half and substitute x by y plus 3 to the power half so you get the solution in y. So what we are going to do, we take 
first equation x is equal to 0 but our x is y plus 3 to the power half so when you square both sides it is y plus 3 is 0 y is minus 3 because when you substitute y is minus 3 here it's 0 so that's our one solution and take the second number x is equal to 3 x is y plus 3 to the power half so y plus 3 to the power half is 3 square both sides so the here the square root will be gone 3 square will be 9 so y equals 9 minus 3 is 6 that's our second solution and when you take the third value x is equal to minus half and substitute x is equal to y plus 3 to the power half is equal to minus half and don't just blindly square it when you have a negative number here strictly that means square root of something is strictly a positive number strictly a positive number that means square root of no number is going to give you a strictly a positive number so there is no so there is no real number solution for this so you can just void it that means you can omit it don't try to take square uh, square on both sides y plus 3 is equal to 1 upon 4 y is 1 upon 4 minus 3 which is minus 11 upon 3 don't write minus 11 upon 3 as your answer because when you substitute y is equal to minus 11 upon 3 here will be minus 11 upon 3 plus 3 minus sorry minus 11 upon 4 here minus 11 upon 4 plus 3 to the power half which is 12 minus 1 1 by 4 to the power half is not strictly minus minus half you see so when they say this value a square root of some number is minus minus uh, minus half strictly minus half equal to minus half you can't get a real number solution so you can just void it so you have two solutions only y equals minus 3 and y equals 6 that's it this question has four marks only thing you need to know that uh, how to which one don't just blindly take this as x because uh, the middle term is ax square bx plus c always some people they compare they take the middle term as x no even if you take this as x check first you see here when you compare the a and b you have 50 x square so this is supposed to be x square so you need to find x which is square root of square root of this or when you compare this, you can take this as your x.